Okay, so let's talk about... Uh, this is going to be my official Javante Davis versus that one guy prediction. Um, this is a horrible mismatch cherry pick of a bum fight. Um, Hector Garcia... <laughs> <laughs> is a very easily hit nobody. He's also a guy moving up in weight. Typical Tank Davis behavior. It's about Tank Davis is what? Seventh or eighth cherry pick in a row? You know, and I hate to repeat myself, but we all know that Tank Davis is a one division champion. One div excuse me, one division title holder. And he's not a three division champion like the PBC and Al Heyman and the rest of these cock and the rest of these clones like to shove down your throat. This is a pathetic cherry pick. This dude, he's Tank Davis's fighting is a bum. Will he beat Chris Colbert? Chris Colbert was a hype job. He's a fucking hype job. Look at how easily this dude's getting hit. He's also moving up in weight. It, it, this is a pathetic fight. And the fact that the PBC had the gall to put another laughable fight on, on pay-per-view for $80 is just, it is just an insult to the fans, to be quite honest. Um, this guy is a bum, just like Rolly Romero was a bum. Just like Jesus Cuellar was a bum and a cherry pick and a guy moving up in weight. Just like Leo Santa Cruz, who's not a bum, but was a small guy moving up in weight and a cherry pick for Tank Davis. Just like his entire career and his entire resume has been full of cherry picks and bums. The two exceptions to Tank Davis's garbage fucking resume... You know, he fought Pedraza for a legit world title. The only legit world title he ever won was against Jose Pedraza. And even that, he, Pedraza was clearly, clearly weight-drained in that fight, okay? You know, and then Pedraza, once he filled back up in weight and went to 135 and 140, he went the distance with Jose Zepeda, Jose Ramirez, Lomachenko, Richard Comey, et cetera, so forth. And the other legit fighter, Pitbull Cruz, beat him. Tank Gervonta Davis is the definition of a hype job, people. Now, I want to get into this disgusting cherry pick bullshit fight. Okay? Listen, man. Anything less than a fourth or a fifth round knockout for Tank Davis in this fight is a failure. If he struggles with this guy, it's a failure. If it goes into the latter rounds, it's a failure. This is somebody for, because you you little casuals love to make Gervonta Davis be out, out to be something he's not. If that's the case, if he's that good, then he should be able to dispose of this fucking guy in, in a handful of rounds. But the problem is, Tank Davis isn't the guy you guys like to depict him to be. He's a hype job that's been protect, protected by Heyman, Floyd, and the PBC his entire career. And the guy he's fighting is a bum. Bum. Oh, well, I don't like when people use the word in boxing. Well, guess what? Tank's fighting a fucking bum. Okay? Just because he beat another, he beat another Amaro bomb in Chris Colbert. He's a bomb, and Tank Davis is a fucking hype job. It's just like it's just like the Teofimo Sandor Martin fight. Will he beat Mikey Garcia? Mikey Garcia was a fucking hype job and a bomb and a coward. What the fuck does beating him prove? <sighs> Now, let's get into the other bullshit line that Tank Davis, the fans, and the casuals are trying to sell you. That if you buy this fight on pay-per-view, we promise, we guarantee it, that Tank Davis is fighting Ryan Garcia next. And that's another fight for the casuals. Ryan Garcia is also a homosexual hype job. 
What what is that? Am I I'm failing to understand here? No comprende. You understand? Why would you pay eighty dollars to tank for Tank Davis to fight this Momo with the illusion of an announcement? <laughs> The tank gets to fight a homosexual hype job in his next fight. But, like I said, common sense ain't too common these days now, is it? But, you know, for my official prediction on this fight, and let's also not forget this, Tank Davis looked like complete dog shit against another complete bomb in his last fight, this fight here. Roly Romero has an IQ of 34. The guy has no footwork. No jab. It, like, it, this was somebody else Tank Davis was supposed to dispatch of very, very easily. But guess what? He didn't. He struggled. Want to know why, people? Because Tank Davis is a hype job. Ryan Garcia is a hype job. You're getting the illusion of a fake fight between two homosexuals. If they get over seven barricades, like this this whole scenario with him and Ryan, well, you got to give him a pass this time for fighting a bum because we promise he's going to fight gay boy Ryan his next fight. Like, are you fucking kidding me, people? And Tank Davis struggled with Rolly Romero while Johnny was in jail. You know how hard I would have been laughing had I been out to see this fight? Tank Davis is garbage, people. He's garbage. He's garbage. So's Ryan. And Tank Davis... <laughs> failing. So why do I need to make a prediction video? I guess I just need to put it on the record, I suppose. I got Tank Davis winning this bullshit fight for $80 on PBC pay-per-view. By knockout, four or five rounds. If he doesn't get him out of there in four or five rounds, then it's a lackluster performance by Tank Davis. The fact of the matter is, Jermaine Ortiz would have beaten the shit out of Tank Davis' last seven opponents. Other than maybe Pitbull Cruz. And even that's an iffy. Okay? Tank knockout. There's your prediction. Please be sure to hit the like and subscribe. And hit the like also if you agree that Tank and Ryan are both clowns, hype jobs, and that fight doesn't deserve the attention it's getting. If it even happens, that is. Salute, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Oh, and before we go, we'll watch Rolly get 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 clapped because that 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 never gets old. Bomb, bomb, bomb fighting bomb bomb KO and another bomb. But that being said, people, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe. God bless you all, and have a wonderful night. Salute.